Project Genome is a sci-fi MMORPG that's been in development for a few years that's recently made its way onto Steam Early Access. This game is being made in Unreal Engine 4 by Russian developers known as Neuron Haze. Usually I don't like covering Early Access MMOs, but a lot of people were spamming me about this one, so I decided to check it out. Bear in mind when looking at games in Early Access, I try to look for the potential in the game, rather than talking too much about the current state of the game, because as you're probably aware, that state constantly changes whilst in early access. With that said, let's jump in and see if this is a game worthy of your time. Okay, so this is Project Genome. The game's very recently gone into early access alpha, so I am expecting to find a lot of bugs and stuff, but let's just create a new character and see how the game's doing so far. It says here that customization is in development, so you can't really customize your character just yet. I'm sure genome's supposed to be spelt with an E on the end, but there we go. All right, so here we are. It's my character walking around. It's holding shift allows you to sprint pretty fast. The animation on the sprint is rather nice. We can interact with things with the E button. Whenever you interact with something, some voice acting plays out and we can also equip this gun. Okay, there's a, a monster running. There we go. So it's not tab targeting, it's kind of action targeting. The animation of the movement feels pretty good so far. I like the run animation, turning and everything feels quite solid. The shooting feels solid enough. It's, uh, it's obviously very difficult to kill the monsters when they're really close to you so you're supposed to need to kite them around in terms of animation i'd say this game is already above average for an early access mmorpg typically mmos in early access have shit animation there's monsters all over the place they're coming in hot the sound effects from firing your weapon sound impactful enough something that a lot of shooter MMOs tend to struggle with. Right, I feel as though I need some kind of close range attack for when these monsters get too close to me because they very quickly close the gap on you and it's quite hard to shoot them whilst they're near your feet. So some form of melee ability would be appreciated. Because right now what I need to do is run up and down, turn and shoot and it just feels a little bit off right now. I can tell you right now that the voice acting in this game isn't very good at all. Hopefully it's just placeholder voice acting. Currently the loading screens are rather lengthy. I've been waiting for about a minute so far with this one, but that's to be expected. The game's in early access. I'm sure it's nowhere near optimized, but it does load. It didn't freeze or anything, which is positive. Surprisingly, I haven't dropped below 60 FPS since starting this game. We had one point where the game froze for a few seconds, but Outside of that, seems to be running decently well. Visually, for an MMORPG, I'd say it's quite a good looking game from what I've seen so far. I am getting some screen tearing in places. There's an orc on the wall, okay. Right, it appears as though you can just sprint indefinitely. There doesn't seem to be any kind of cooldown on the sprint. Got myself a better pistol, apparently, a Marauder pistol. However, I haven't unlocked the requirements to actually use it yet. I think due to how many different levels there are on this ship, some efforts need to be made to help distinguish those levels when it comes to the map, because it's very hard to navigate in its current state. Look at this little guy, he's happy as fuck, isn't he? Right, so we've left the Ark. There's a guy floating up here. These ones are spitting acid at me, I think. What do I do now? I found the hole. I'm getting my ass kicked though. We got nothing for destroying it. I am so confused. It's very laggy right now. Um, we're bordering into the realms of unplayable currently. My mission right now is just find the hole. And that's quite a vague mission really. This has to be the mission, F find the hole. Did we do it? Um, we got a bunch of loot. You'd think for the first few intro quests, it'd be relatively self-explanatory. Not at all, not in the slightest. Oh, I found it right. Oh my god, I got a legendary rifle somehow. Not sure how. It appears as though with, with the questing, the person that gets the last hit on the monster, regardless of whether or not someone shoots it first, gets the credit for killing said monster. I really don't like this whole last hit on the monster 
gets the rewards for its system, it's infuriating. I think the problem with having so many of these pointless things that you can interact with is it makes the questing incredibly confusing because you've got all of these things popping up around you which you can interact with and none of them are to do with the quest. I'm tempted just to scrap the video right now because I can already tell the game's not in a state even remotely worthy of being judged. It's just way too early. Just lots of running around so far. We just need to keep talking to people. Very, um, boring start to the game, I'd say. I'm getting rewards thrown at me left, right, and center, none of which I can actually equip. I don't think a lot of MMORPG developers realize this, but the first few hours of your game are the most important. They need to be fun, because if not, people are going to get bored, lose interest, and stop playing your game. Creating a successful MMORPG is all about getting people invested into your game. So you need to keep them engaged for a good amount of time, the most important part being the first few hours, if you're going to expect people to stick around with your game. From what I've seen so far based on the quest design, I'm not impressed. They need to make something more engaging, linear and fun to teach people the basics of the game and not just throw a ton of quests at people as soon as they get to this giant arc area because it's overwhelming, not very fun and quite boring. I do like that you have infinite sprint in this game though, since you're running back and forth quite a lot. It would be a pain if you was just constantly moving at this run speed. Right, so now if I press M, I've got this giant map here. And it does look like there's a decently large area to explore as of right now. Right, so after vigorously clicking on this, I've got this little talent tree pop up right here. Fantastic. Right, now the talent tree makes sense to me. It was just because it wouldn't let me click on these things. Now I can equip myself an assault rifle. So if I press V, for some reason I, I just can't move anywhere. And if I press it again, I still can't move anywhere, so it doesn't really toggle anything. Pressing V breaks the game, it seems. Like, I'm pressing every fucking button. Okay, that fixed it somehow. There's no menu that just says the controls. Even in early access, you need a fucking menu to tell people the controls. This is it. This is everything. There's no button which would just display an image of the keyboard of the basic controls and it's very hard to play the game and figure everything out like this in that state. I'm not sure why they didn't add that. So now we've got ourselves an assault rifle. We're having a lot better luck killing these things. I think right now the servers are quite laggy. They are having some problems. There's a lot of delay when it comes to sound effects when I shoot, for example. The combat has lost the responsiveness that it had when I initially started the game. Something I can't figure out is how to switch to my machine gun from my pistol. The game's given me zero information on how to do that. And now it's frozen again. It's unplayable in the current state. Do not buy this game in its current state. You're gonna have a shit time with it. You're probably gonna have a shit time with it for a fair few months, to be honest. Oh my god, we found a female digger. Well, that's that done. Now we can go back in here. Right, nice. I can get level 3 assault rifles. Right. E examine. Hello? Oh god, what's this? Giant tentacles. Okay. Let's fight it, shall we? Can we shoot it? No. Right now I've got a quest where I need to find out what happened to the alpha fighter. That is honestly such a vague thing to tell me to do as a quest. It's just given me this massive area. Whatever I need to do is somewhere here. Incredibly vague. And I just died because there was no sound effects or visual feedback that I was getting attacked. The uh, amazing graphics that the game boasted at the start appear to have gone away. Now it just looks... Quite ugly, to be perfectly honest. I think what I'm going to do, because I am so incredibly bored of the questing, and it's so poorly designed, is just run around and explore for a bit. I wouldn't really describe what I'm seeing out here as epic graphics, but there we go. I'm pretty sure the developers haven't really got around to adding the high-res textures in this area. So far for a game that's based on, like, a foreign alien world, Quite a boring world outside from what I've seen so far. 
It's just uh, forest and trees, not much visual diversity. Not really too sure what I'm doing at this point, I'm just kind of running around hoping to find something interesting. It's level 30. Oh, that is not a moose! Right, that was a mistake. I'm gonna struggle to avoid this guy. Running! Bollocks! The game certainly needs a ton of work. So after playing the early access alpha version of Project Genome for about an hour and a half at this point and getting too bored of the game to continue playing, I'm now going to give you my early thoughts on the game so far. To be honest, there's no point of doing a pros and cons list because honestly the game is way too early to judge and I feel as though the game shouldn't even be in early access to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty sure everything I've experienced in this video is going to be completely changed by the time the game's actually released, if it ever releases. But initially when I started the game I had relatively high hopes for it. Visually the game looks pretty good for an MMORPG. MMOs don't really tend to have very good graphics at all, the standard's quite low. So for an MMO it looks quite good. I also thought things like the running animation was quite good and I felt as though the shooting was relatively impactful and responsive, initially anyway. As soon as I got past the linear introduction to the game and zoned into the multiplayer area, that's when things started to get a bit worse. I'm pretty sure Project Genome must have been having some form of server issues because as soon as I got to the multiplayer part, everything felt delayed from the sound effects to the animations of my bullets. It just didn't really feel like a smooth and consistent experience, which to a point is to be expected with early access games. However, I've played many other early access MMORPGs, even on launch and I think Project Genome is certainly one of the most unplayable. But ignoring all of the bugs and server issues, let's just talk about the questing. When you're making an MMORPG, the first few hours of gameplay and questing are probably the most important because that's what gets you invested into the game, it helps you learn about the world and care about your character. However, based on the fundamental quest design decisions I've seen in this game so far, I'm really not impressed and I don't see any form of potential in Project Genome's questing. It's very standard, boring, repetitive MMORPG, kill and collect, talk to this person, fucking kill me questing. And that's my opinion on the questing so far, with me ignoring the incredibly unintuitive map and user interface. Something Project Genome have added to the game though is voice acting, which not many MMOs actually do. It's quite nice to see an MMO with voice acting. Granted, the voice acting isn't very good and I'm kinda hoping it's placeholder, but it has voice acting nonetheless. When it comes to the gameplay in Project Genome, it's honestly too early to judge at the moment. However, from what I've seen so far, it is nice that the combat doesn't feel static. I do appreciate that. You can move and shoot at the same time. I hate it when MMOs make it so you can only attack whilst standing still. Thankfully, they're not going down that route. But overall, when it comes to Project Genome, I haven't really seen any potential in the game so far, which is what I was mostly looking for in this video. When I've played other early access MMORPGs, what I look for is potential. Can I see this game eventually becoming a good game after it's finished development? And I haven't really found anything in this game to kind of give me that feeling in comparison to something like Gloria Victus when I saw a ton of potential in that game. Personally, I do feel as though Project Genome is way too early for early access and I can't imagine this game being released any time within the next year or two. It's going to be a long time in development before it's anywhere near ready, by which time I'm kind of concerned that the game will already be out of date upon release due to how long MMORPGs actually take to develop. I suppose I suppose it's a game that you're just going to have to keep your eye on if you're a fan of sci-fi MMOs because really there isn't many good sci-fi MMOs. It's something we're certainly in need of. Do I think that Project Genome has the potential to be a good sci-fi MMO? From what I've seen so far, not really. It has the potential to be an average sci-fi MMO. So far to me, the game just seems a lot like Defiance made in Unreal Engine 4 with better graphics at times and other than that, not really much else, but keep an eye on the game and maybe one day it will be worth your time. As of right now, I can't recommend buying into the early access version of this game because for me personally, it's unplayable. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you got some kind of value out of it. For those of you that are new to the channel, my goal on YouTube is basically to help you discover quality new games and avoid the bad ones whilst not wasting much of your time in the process. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then do consider subscribing. If you're only interested in MMORPGs, 
MMORPG games though, I don't advise subscribing because there's rarely any decent ones to cover, so I mostly showcase new Steam games. Regardless though, thanks for watching, you take it easy, and I'll see you again in the next one. Each cut of your sword slices the person up in that specific location. I've just started playing this game. I'm a first time Shadow Warrior player and straight away the game's just started and I'm having a blast.